one and guests attention God damn it, girls. present arms Keep that hand up eagle order arms all right, so tonight we are on Gorgona as part of the uh, initiative to help out those who are deploying in the uh, deployment this weekend. I believe they are having round two against the or something, something 82nd Marine Recon. Two MRB. Two MRB, that's right. Thank you, sir. So uh, in anticipation of that, can everybody who is part of the deployment itself either on the main team or on the reserve team. Uh, if you are, put a one in side chat real quick. All right, excellent. So what we're going to do today is uh, the four of you who put the one there, we are going to have you go op four in just a second. Um, I believe you are going to be the op four Russian uniforms. Uh, I know that the deployment has a special kit, but we're just going to use the, uh, the 29th kit for tonight. So, You'll go, um, I'll teleport you out to the prison, uh, and we're going to give you some rounds to defend the prison. Uh, for those of us on blue four, basically what I want to have is we're going to have many short, quick rounds where the blue four, uh, we're going to be assaulting the prison from different, uh, different directions, north, south, east, west, different places, um, just to give the defense some ideas of what it might look like if the enemy comes from different directions. Um, for the ease of this drill, we're going to keep it simple. Let's not worry about stealing radios or changing radio frequencies because I want to get as many rounds as we can in. Um, so if you die, just respawn main base, and then once everyone's dead, um, we'll load it back up again, and then we'll have Blue 4 attack from a different direction, um, and we'll try to help out these guys that are on the deployment as much as possible. Uh, yes, sir. Um, did you guys see what the Blue 4 rifle was? Because I wasn't actually at the scrimmage last weekend. Yeah, it's just a uh, M4A1, I think. Was it carry handle or the shitty pip sight thing? No, we had uh, we had like our, our normal sights. Okay. The uh, what M68 or whatever the hell? It, yeah. Roger that. Uh, Fish, do you have a question? Oh, I was gonna say. Um... When I was helping build loadouts, it's specifically not the PIP. It's the standard M4. Like the most yeah, basic M4. M4. Yeah, M4A1. Just, yeah, with a laser laser sight on it for some reason in the middle of the day and uh, the M68. Roger that. So if uh, the only other thing is I've drawn a very, I've drawn a circle in uh, global chat around the prison itself. Um, I know during the drill or during the deployment, you guys are going to be free to move around the area, but just for the sake of this drill tonight, that way we're not spending a long time hunting people down, hiding in the forest or something. Um, let's try to have Op4 try to contain themselves as much as possible within that circle, uh, just for brevity's sake. Are there any other questions before we start? Uh, PTS fish? Yes. If I switch to a loadout real quick, I can give the answer to the M4. I have a lot of people asking me. Some deploying, so if I can right, just switch Roger, that loadout. Go, go for it. Uh, hold on. M4A1. That's what I said. I don't know All right. people want. I deployed with the... I remember what I used. Uh, that's okay. Never, I'm sorry. I'm grumpy. Sorry, grumpy. So... For those of you who uh, are on the deployment or on the reserve team, uh, feel free to fall out Op 4 this time. Um, I'll teleport you to the prison in just a moment. Uh, everyone else on Blue 4, you can start kidding out right now. Vogel, you want us to grab the... Start with the uniform.
31. Ready to check. Leave it Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. So it looks like we have to pretty much stay in here. I see yeah, no real basically. reason to push out for now. Scout it out for now. I swear to God, my wife knows when to call me at the exact fucking moment. So, um, it's got it out. It's pretty much solid walls all around, but uh, as they discussed prior, they can be knocked down with the Humvees. Right, yeah, and I don't know if Vogel's going to Humvees or not. Yeah. It's a nice safe space behind this, uh, behind this warehouse over here with some of the modular bunkers. Yeah, and then we got the barracks too, along the like near north side. Three two stories. I would almost suggest rigging those to blow up or something. <laughs> uh, I'm not exactly. Uh, it's funny I can remember the exact loadout for uh, the deployment, but I don't. I we practiced it on. Uh, Sunday with a CP2 drill, but I don't uh, remember what the freaking loadout. Four? Yes, as op four. Because right. by then, by then we knew we were, that's what we were deploying. At. Right. I for the life of me can't remember what the stupid kit was. From what I've seen, every time anyone's attacked this, they've gone straight for these barracks and then worked their way in. Yeah. Oh yeah, but uh, then they go for the barracks. Right. So, well, I mean, in my mind, you give that to them and just rig some of the buildings to blow up. Once you know they're in there, and just have at it. Uh, that's probably too too radical of a plan, though. I mean, I, I mean, you're a see. combat engineer. You're supposed to carry explosives. I do a three demolition lot. And yeah, no, just make sure you add some demolition blocks to your kit next chance you get. Yeah, as a CE, you can carry them as long as you're not to, as long as you're told. You know, as long as you're not told not to. Not told not to what? I said he can bring explosives. You want to put a block, like, at this gate? Yeah. Now, something consistent that I noticed was the corner in between the farthest north barracks and the one all the way to the northwest over there, that's typically where they ram Humvees through because it yeah, has a lot of sure. cover on that corner. Check that out. We're live, so yep. let's get dug in. And this is really the hard point of this compound. Everything else is so open. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, gate's closed. Hold up. 
Getting on well, let's not all be up here. Let me get uh, let me get Carlson in here. Mind, Surge, maybe hang you. back by the warehouse and the other compound. Watch the gate. Shit, you could even go up on the hill. Yeah, I could a tiny bit. I'm just. I'm not sure if it's a. If I'd be far back enough to see some. My only concern is being in range to de detonate it. Oh, yeah, there's that too. I think it's like 200 meters, 250. Somewhere around. Roger, I got the northern corner. I'm in the northernmost barracks. Alright, I'm back by the warehouse. I got kind of eyes on the front. Okay, cool. I was about to ask. I got that. northeast into the town. Alright, I'll cover northwest then. Somebody opening doors? Yeah, that's me next to you. Roger. Hazer, you didn't have an RPG as well, did you? Alright, let's try and be uh, judicious since we have two. Carlson, next round you can grab a machine gun. Roger that, second with it. Yeah, totally. Get a markup, please. I'm gonna keep eyes to the north. That might have been me moving around. I hear voices to my west. Got anything concrete? Yep, yep, here we go, West. Northwest corner, We're working around the perimeter. Yeah, I marked. Yep, alright, they're coming up around. They threw a smoke grenade at me, apparently. I haven't heard anything catastrophic, so I can't imagine they made a breach. North side wall is secure. They might have split because I got one here on the west side a minute ago. Shots on my building. Can you hear the report? They're I can the only hear gate. the impacts. I see one, one EI at the front gate. Right I hear him, I hear Oh, double frag. 
Carlson, get watching towards the front gate from your building, would you? Roger that. Once they get towards that gate, we gotta blow it. I really want that to happen. They're entering that. They're on the wall by that gate. They're on the gate. They're on the gate. Blow it, Sarge. Blow it. Or wait, no, no. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, well, no, there you go. go. Yeah, there you go. Fuck yeah. Oh, you got one. You got one still. Two down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got three down along the wall. That might be all of them. Alright, hey, good job, guys. from inside of the compound Roger This guy not dead yet. Alright. So, they definitely should not attack from the south side if they're not going to be breaching in the south. Because it gives too much time for them to be spotted. Contact! Frag out! Bad nade! No! How's it? My bad. Let's just all respawn. Ah, uh, nothing to see here. Yeah, that was that's rather embarrassing right there. <laughs> Every, all you guys just that's ran right, right to the no. front gate. Yep, same. Research. Hello. Are you coming to deployment? Yes. My... Yeah, no, nothing. So, uh, Hauser ditched the rocket. Carlson, go ahead and grab a PK. Yeah, not the PKM. Just the PK. Unless you're happy with your rifle. No, I don't... Do fine with the rifle. So, I don't know if the... Op 4 gets demos. I know Blue 4 gets uh, one combat engineer, uh, well, whatever. One combat engineer slot that gets uh, that uh, gets explosives. I, I forget. I think they get two demos total. For on Op 4? Did you see it? Yeah. I guess oh, it would make two sense. Two blocks but... total. Something like that. But I don't know. I, I kn yeah. Beauty. Yeah, but now it's there. Now they got a big gap. Okay. Right. Get in to infiltrate the compound. Just like my first girlfriend's teeth. Freak, freak, freak. 31. Okay, free. 
Close the gates. We're staying inside the compound. For the most part, yeah. Cir circle and global on the map, so it's basically the comp. They came in on the south side, and Hauser was down there and spotted them or heard them. And then they worked around the flanks, and we hit them before they could get to the main road. And then they floundered into the main road entrance, and Sergeant Earp blew them up. It was cool. Okay, I want to. I might tell them to get a vehicle. I'll I, I uh, mark myself in club. Bye. Oh, yeah. Unless they put blow a hole in the wall. No, they might blow a hole in the wall. Uh, I'm gonna go across. Dude, the what brown marks laundry? You doing laundry? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go barracks again. I'm going to be at the warehouse across the road to the north since it's within the circle. Yo, what's up with this vehicle gate up here? It's right it next to the open. warehouse. Yeah, but does it just go into the barbed wire, or is it an actual breach? Uh, no, it's not. Uh, no, I don't think it's a breach. Hazard and Surge, can you mark your uh, locations? Oh shit, I opened it. Gotcha. I I can. I can I'll shift I can over do. and cover the front gate if you'd like. Roger that. Sarge, can you cover my building? Uh, yes, I, yes, I think I can. Okay. Well, except for the west northwest side of it. Alright, for now, watch uh, east, I guess.
vehicle. Enemy group. Soccer field. Roger. What kind of vehicle? Looks like a Russian MRAP. Maybe I'll be. Mark the breach though, I can see. GL's coming in from the east side. Yeah, they just do a breach again. I, just are... I can't see it. They're bombing me! Hauser, let me know if they come through that side. Houser's unconscious. I'm on his building. They're breaching through both sides of me. Roger, I'm coming through the main gate. Live check. Appreciate it. Well, I can't arrange this thing for shit. First charge, there's two just north of your mark. I'm moving back. Carlson, yet? Sarge? I'm up. Alright. I'm moving back. I'm gonna check the outer perimeter on the east side. <laughs> two enemies down. Third enemy down. Whew, good job, guys. How's it? I was unconscious. Yeah, um, one of the little bastards came around the corner and we both shot each other. He knocked me unconscious, but since I was using a PK, I blew him away. Yeah, no, I shot him immediately. Like, I came around the corner and I was like, how's there? And then he... wearing a marp hat when he looked at me and I fucking unloaded into him. <laughs> yeah, but some other guy came around the corner at the same time that I was killing the guy that killed you and we both shot each other, but my PK rounds killed him because big PK rounds. Uh, uh, Lieutenant, uh Lieutenant does. Yeah, Lieutenant. Yeah, Lieutenant. Oh, they won't have that. No, they won't have that. Oh, look, he fixed the wall. That's very nice.
Yay. Many yays. That was brutal. It's a good fight. Um, that worked out well. We were well spaced throughout. Um, I don't think they knew First Sarge was in there for a while, did they? Okay. Line on them, but then again, they had no good line on me, so. Yeah, it was kind of the same. Well, I was up in the uh, what the southeast corner of that building right in front of me there, and they breached right there ish. So I had I had okay eyes on the breach, and luckily they just they breached with the truck and then backed the truck up and then ran a couple guys in. I got one, and but the other one I only smart of them to do two breaches. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, oh, live. Go on the same side. I'm getting back in my same hole. Who's demos at the front gate? Okay. Yeah, I shot that guy right there. I was actually talking to him or at least he wasn't talking back. I was trying to talk to him, then this little fucker came around the corner. We both shot each other. I can keep eyes on this position, that wall. I would patch it, but I don't want to see where they're coming from. You near that same spot, Lieutenant? No, I'm just across the road, in a little ditch. Vehicles north, coming from the tower. Two, two tanks oh, numbers. Crap. Oh, they came, came zipping right down there. Alright, well if they hit this north entrance, I'll be ready for them. Right on him, I think. Oh, they got base of fire at the tower. Roger, I'm firing on it. Uh, I think I just screwed up. I tried to get the. the there's a. Sarge, there's west, they're west of you for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and they're still up on the that hill. Yeah, by the focus on the guys west of you. Yeah, I'm really injured right now. I think I got the gunner off that thing. And I think they're shooting at me. They're in the top, they're in the, they're in the two-story shooting at me. They're in the, uh, one of the military bunkers. Alright, I'm gonna pull back. Friendly front entrance. Marking, marking with red dot, I believe they're... Friendly... <laughs> Friendly front entrance. Friendly front entrance, god damn it. Uh, I, I put a red I put a red dot possible in a new position. One kill. Got one in the noggin. I'm out of HE. I don't know how many are in that building over there. I, I hit one, I saw him go down, I don't know if he's dead, dead. Yep, I'm in the, uh, I'm in the building just across from it. 
Alright. I'm gonna move up and get grenade across into the through the door into the second floor. Nobody's on the second floor, right? I'm in the second floor of the other building to the south. Mark your position. It's marked with a C. I heard a smoke pop. That was me. Nah, let's just let him go. So, uh, Lieutenant Nelson, you still okay? Yeah, I'm at the front entrance. Smoke. Oh, I'm hit. That was you, Hauser, wasn't it? They're, they're firing from the building, top of hill north. Is it left of the tower? second floor of that building? Roger. Enemy second floor of that building just fired from there and hit me. Yeah, hang back there. Cover me. I just heard something crash. Yeah, next vehicle's here. Yep, it's here. Back up. He just made a breach here in the south side. He's just hitting all the walls down at this point, driving willy-nilly. Main entrance. <laughs> Thank you. This thing better not blow up. Knock knock. 
Who there? Southern building. On me, Hazard. Oh, you're already in there? Jesus fucking Christ, dude. The fish is upstairs. Some noise over there. Fish up the stairs. Next building up to the left. Like a lieutenant's always the only survivor. You did? Oh, okay. Did you respond? Ah. She did. Well. I walked up to Ferris. I put my AK-74 up his left nostril. I pulled the trigger and the fucker didn't die. I'm going to observe someone wants to take jail. Nope, nope. Yeah. I don't. First Sarge, do you want your thing. MG? I can take the GL. Sounds great. Roger that. Shit. I can still grab it. I'm in the arsenal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die too. I'm gonna take my stuff. Die. Okay, I'll just take your stuff. So I got stuff. That disappeared. Damn it. Stuff taker. <laughs> well, looks like I have an MG. Looks like we have two MGs. Okay, two MGs. Two, two rifles. Two engines, two combat engines. I think I'll try out armor person incendiary. Those sounds like they're appropriate for the situation we're in. Have you ever uh you ever seen the effects of one of those? I watched a video yes. where a guy was firing fifty BMG armor piercing incendiary rounds at um what was it? I forget what the name of the company was, but they manufacture uh ballistic plates for vests and such. Ceramic plates for vests and such. Okay, I'm going hide. I don't know. Find... Hello. Same plan. Go hide. Yeah, 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 yeah. Find a spot. Hide in it. You 
probably gonna have to get eyes yourself. Roger. Sounds like it's still driving around. Not gonna be of much help. The game keeps freezing about every ten seconds. South and they hate me. I'm trying to get a rocket on him right now. Yeah, they're shooting at me like crazy. Dang it, I think I missed low. Yeah, it's making a push to the... It's on the rocks to the south yeah. right now. Yeah, so 
like they breathe sweat. Humvee breathe sweat in the barracks buildings right now. Rap was more than we could chew. Yeah, I thought it was a, uh, I thought it was just an M2, and it turned out to be a Crows, so my bullets were wasted on it. <laughs> they rolled it off the cliff, though. <laughs> Cut the driver. Now I killed my AI. Yeah, it's game. Were there five of us? Yeah, we're all dead though. Go before. Yep. Yeah. Well, we got it the first. I mean, the other rounds. So. Yep. Yeah, that. Let's get lined up. Don't care about kits right now. Do you want us in, uh, pull up? Nope. Just get lined up. That might have been me for a sergeant. <laughs> Bring it. You're running the drill, you blow up whatever the hell you want. I actually didn't even realize I did that. Alright, we have everyone. I think everyone's here. Alright, very good. Uh, so, good job tonight, guys. Um, I know that it was a little unfair at times on both ends. Um, first round, Blue 4 had a hard time breaching the walls, uh, as it Here, let me take care of that for you, Lieutenant. Um, fix that. You can land straight. It's all jiggly. Jiggly's for boobs, not for lions. Try for Cern. I haven't to take a half step forward. A little bit more. All right, good. All right. Uh, so yes, as the uh, rounds progressed, I gave Blue Four more and more vehicles. Uh, even in that last round, I gave him a Crows, which was, by all accounts, OP. Uh, however, we just wanted to give the Op Four a variety of difficulty uh, in in defending their location. I wasn't 100% sure what the parameters of the actual deployment would be, so we just took a uh, a liberal approach to what they might see. Other than that, uh, I think we did a good job tonight. Uh, I saw that Op4 used a variety of tactics. Blue4 uh, had interesting times coming up with new plans each time. Uh, if anyone else has PTS, feel free to throw it up. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think the whole... I had two things I noticed. In terms of an assault, the full-on fronts will get in there quick. Bring the fight to the enemy is definitely the best way to go. Um, as op for, if you get in a long-range fight with heavy weaponry, you're probably going to lose, especially that crows 
in that last round, something like that, you're not gonna you're not gonna win that fight. Um, best bet is to get your head down, wait for them to get closer to a range where you can negate that vehicle's um, benefit and just tear up the infantry. And at that point, the vehicle will just be driving around willy nilly. There'd be no one to protect them, and you can deal with it. Um, <clears throat> but if they get some nice bases of fire, we gotta just kind of keep keep our heads down from that and focus on what they're trying to distract us from because there's probably going to be someone crashing in on the perimeter somewhere. But great job out for in being dynamic. Good defenses. Roger that. First Sergeant? Uh, something we don't mention very often, and, and I, I got an illustration for you on the map, uh, something that we used to practice a lot more of. Um, when, you, when, when people pick defensive positions, they often choose a building for the cover and then they immediately put their big fat face in the window and then from a mile away there's a big fat face in the window uh if you guys go to the map there's a little white residential building that's right up against the soccer fields um from the windows facing north out of that i have spectacular views of the tower the buildings next to the tower the big gapped area between the tower or maybe somebody parked a humvee with a m2 on the roof got it has it and i uh can you guys hear me? I'm hoping. Yes. Yeah, Perfect. Sorry. Um, and uh, if you if you fire from that position, you're firing over the roof of two buildings, or at least one, and through trees, and and it's putting multiple obstacles between you and the and your target. Multiple obstacles. If you can fire from the outside of a building through the windows, through the windows on the opposite side of the building to the to the road on the other side, it's firing through multiple objects like that, not just from a window, but through a window, through through gaps in trees, or in between buildings, uh, through a window, or or whatever mathematical formula you want to add of different types of cover together. But layering that cover like that, um, uh, that's the sight line you guys need to look to set up on a defensive position. And sometimes even on, a, on an attack, you look for, uh, often it's very limited, but if you move around and then you, you know, go 10 meters to the left, you might have an angle on a different position. But uh, that is very important. You are very unlikely to be spotted when firing from those positions, or it takes you much longer to be spotted, and then you can win the firefight much easier. All right, I'm done. Roger that. Uh, PFC Dot. Um, speaking from a offensive point of view, it seems pretty much the only realistic way that this place is going to be able to be attacked is through breaches in the walls. Now, that being said, I'm not sure what way or if they would even be able to breach the walls come the actual scrimmage. But uh, by far, my favorite spot to enter the compound was uh, that one, marked one, uh, followed by my second favorite spot at two, and my third favorite spot at three. Uh, the first spot is by far better than the rest. Gives you the best, best uh, entrance way. If you're just breaching through the wall and you want to pour a pile of guys in, most cover, it's the easiest access to the buildings. Uh, and it might be a good thing to have come the actual scrim guys nearby those locations. So if someone smashes through the wall with a vehicle, you've got someone with a rifle who can kill all the poor bastards about to jump out of the vehicle or run through the hole. Very good. And last one, PFC Hauser. All right, uh, so very good. So without further ado, we will close it up for the night. So. Sir, thank you very much for coming. Thank you for dedicating this time to practice. Appreciate it. CP1 and guests, attention. Attention again, Brave Eagle. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. You can also salute. It'll stop the animation. Present arms. There you go. Order arms. All right, good luck to everyone who's deploying on this upcoming weekend on Saturday.